Hi, my name is Arlene Hupp and I'm with the Surface Product Unit. Today I'm going to walk you through how to demonstrate Surface 2.0 on the Samsung SUR40 device. So first of all I want to talk a little bit about the device itself and some of the improvements we made. So we listened to our customers from Surface V1 and what they told us is they needed it thinner. So we delivered it in four inches and it can truly be a table that people can gather around. It can go into countertops or a kiosk or it can go on the wall where you have limited space. So you still can have a really good together computing experience. A couple of the attributes of this device, in addition to the thinness and the form factor, is that it's a 40 inch display, high definition, so it has great clarity in your visual applications. And another thing that's important to IT administrators is that it's a Windows 7 professional PC. So it's a connected device that can be easily deployed and managed throughout the organization. Okay, let's get started with the demo. We're going to start here on the Attract application. This is the first experience, and this is also what the system goes to if it's idle. So you can see it's got these nice little pixels that flow in, but the, what's really important is that you can touch it and have some ripple effects. And so you really want to encourage people to touch it and feel it because it does feel like water. Now, it also demonstrates that the sensors are picking up every touch because they're actually built into the pixels of the LCD. In the center, we just touch the icon to launch and internally we call it Mesmo. And we can scroll through the launcher to get applications. You also can customize this background. So customers can have their own brand identity as the background to this experience. I also want to point out the access points. So with access points, you touch and drag. That's a safeguard to make sure that we don't have accidental closures. So I want to start off to demonstrate how the system actually works. So I'm going to open up the raw image visualizer. Now you bring this up and you put your fingers down and the image is inverted so that you can see what the touch is like. But you can see hands, you can put down print and it picks that up. You also want to put down a tag to show this is how this vision system actually does see everything and then it responds. Now I'm going to show you with a different application that comes in the SDK. Both of these are samples in the SDK that you can download for free from MSDN. Let's open up Data Visualizer. Now the visualizer lets you put down your fingers, but now it brings in the calculations, the real processing that happens to tell the system what to do. So again, those are fingers, it, it uses tags, but when you take the sensors and then you move, it also shows how you keep that constant ID and it follows you and tells your application. Now I'm going to show you a couple of applications. The first one being Bing for Surface that comes pre-installed on the SUR40. And the other one is Social Stream for Surface. And you can download that from MSDN. Let's start Bing. OK, what this application allows you to do is multiple people can be searching um, and browsing the results for images and maps. Up to four people can be searching. I can use the soft keyboard, so type in whatever you like. I like sunsets and I'm going to find images. Now you need to be sure when you type in your search term to choose if you want maps or images because if you don't choose the right one you're going to have to retype uh, that term in. One of the things you want to be careful about in demonstrating is make sure that you um, practice the search before you're in front of people. We do have content filtering but it is bringing in information live from the web so you don't want to be surprised. Okay. So I'm going to search for sunsets. It's going to bring me back a collection of results. And somebody else can be typing and searching for other things. So if you want to be talking about cars, you could be looking up different cars and get pictures. But anybody can interact with these items. You can be pulling out all the images. You can search for the next set. You could stack them and organize and push them off to the side while you're doing some research together. So that can be a really good standalone application but it really also helps you work with your customers to help them envision how they could be pulling content from their personal clouds 
um, or the web and bring it into this rich multi-user experience on Surface. So let's search for a map. I'm going to look for Key Arena. It's a local sports venue, so you can really try to make it local when you do your demonstration. And we encourage you to do some pre-configuration. We have a configuration tool that allows you to set the local area that you want to search for so you have better performance. It also is the tool to really easily help you set up tags that you want to bring back search results. And I'll show you tags in a minute. OK, so let's select Maps and go to Key Arena. I can leave these up on the table or just close them out. Now you want to bring the map, you can work with it in a window, or you can go full screen if you're working with someone else. Move things around. I can zoom in. This is Bing Maps. I can look at aerial views. And I can get information about the venue. And if you touch the bottom, it's actually generating a Microsoft tag so you can take that information with you. So you can just capture the tag. I've got it. Now I'm going to tap it. And it's going ahead and processing, and it's going to give me the address and directions right there on my phone so we can take that information with. Great tool to be able to deliver end-to-end -end experience. Now you can use the soft keyboard, but the really cool thing is that you can use promotional items. You just put a tag on, this one's a shoe, and we've programmed it to bring up specific results. This could bring up branded content, but it could also work for other applications that go out and bring information from, say, your SQL product database and present it to the customer. And here's an example of how we've used a card that you could give someone. Everybody likes to know where the nearest Starbucks is. So I bring that over. Let's go full. I can look around and see all the Starbucks in the area. Again, I can get more information like the address, get a tag, snap a picture with my mobile phone, and take it with me. So that's the essentials for the Bing application. We encourage people to you know, jump in and let them explore. A lot of people love to use the map to find their house, so let them really get engaged. Now let me show you the Social Stream application. What Social Stream does is it lets you bring in your social media. So we have it configured to bring in Microsoft Surface. I give the, a little scroll, and it starts feeding in the information. It's got Flickr feeds, it's got my tweets, and RSS feeds. And you can use a configuration tool here to set it to whatever feeds you want to bring in. It's streaming along. Everybody can just be grabbing pieces and explore them together. So that's kind of a nice way that people can bring in their social media into their applications. It's part of their portfolio. The real secret sauce to a great Surface experience is the partner applications. You get Bing pre-installed. You can download Social Stream. It gives them some starter applications, but then we want them to work with partners for custom solutions. Now I want to take a moment to show you a few partner applications. Um, before I walk through them, you should know you have two options for partner applications. You can contact the Surface business team, surfacep at microsoft.com, and they can recommend some partner applications that are available for demonstration. Or you can go to surface.com get with one of the Surface partners and bring them in um, to demonstrate to your customers or be at your shows. Okay, let's get started with a couple partner applications. I'm going to show you RBC, Royal Bank of Canada, which is a retail banking branch. It was created by one of our partners called Infusion. So they use this experience. You can walk up to the table or it would work really well in a vertical um, display as well. But they have some really interesting consumer education. Um, it engages people, but it's also a way for them to show them videos and give animations to teach them about a lot of financial issues. I'm going to flip it so I can use it over here. Touch one of the areas, pick pretty much any one of the categories, and if you watch for a moment, you see that they start trying to get your attention and it delivers a video. It's got audio. 
people can learn. So let's go out of that. Um, we also have games and pastimes. You can do puzzles. It's great for entertaining the kids or adults. I like it. Uh, they also have a, an application that does real-time simulation so that you can figure out how much do you spend, say, on a latte every day, and then see real-time calculations of how much you could save. So let's close out of that. One of the really fun things that they've done is integrated into their entire marketing campaign. So they sent out a direct mail promotional item and they printed a tag and then they get folks to come into the branch, they place down that brochure to see if they've won. And when you demonstrate, you're going to be happy because you will win all the time with this. But that really is a good example of how the Surface experience can be used for a multifaceted campaign and interaction with your customers. Okay, let's close out of that. One more application that I want to show you is this Kia Sportage demonstration app. It's from a media company, and they're really trying to achieve being able to deliver great digital content and product information, as well as being able to configure high involvement applications. So this kind of looks like really cool digital signage, but then you can walk up with one of the cards that they've printed for a particular model, and it brings up the information. I could go to the gallery to find models, or I can explore a little bit more on this one. So I have some options here. I can change the interior. I can look at more options. Pick the wheels that you want. There's still some more options. We can look at exterior colors. Now this is just an example how you can talk to customers on how they could think about their products and do product configuration or custom sales. Take the card. It's gone. You could also integrate this with one of our partners. You could think about integrating it into your POS system or being able to put this information on the web so they have it later or at home. One more application to show you. This is an example of a brand marketer creating an application. This is pretty popular with mobile apps today, but customers can think about how they could work with some of their partners to create fun experiences that are branded from some of their partners. So, let's check this out. This is actually a music mixer. You can just have fun. Shows off the audio of the system. Get some beats going. And what the product does is it starts over on the side showing you different drinks that you could have based on the music and the beat. So then I could open this and I get information. Imagine in a hospitality venue, you could actually connect it to your POS and go ahead and order. So this is something for customers to think about. They could work with some of their partners to deliver applications for them because it's a win-win. They're reaching their consumers with their brand and the customers have some cool applications to deploy in addition to the custom ones that they're doing. You're going to want to play with this for a while. But we're going to shut it down for now. And that concludes the demonstration. So when you're demonstrating Surface 2.0 on the Samsung SUR40, you want to be sure that you cover the platform essentials, the starter applications, Bing and Social Stream, and integrate partner applications to really bring it home for that industry. Thanks very much for joining us.